a giant cactuar? Oh god! Oh, you're a big boy. Okay. He looks so smooth in the remake. Oh, he has a freaking mustache. <laughs> Look at that amazing mustache. Let's annihilate this cactuar. It might kill me though. It might give me a thousand pin needles. There is no HP! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Some cactuars live long lives and grow huge. This jumbo cactuar is one of these. Weak against water? Is it because you're dehydrated? Are you thirsty? 666? <laughs> what are the odds of having that number? I'm curious. It might be... Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just over here. When is it gonna do 10,000 needles? You know what? I probably shouldn't have wondered about it because look where we're at right now. <gasps> All right, let me see for myself that this is Bahamut. You know what? Maybe we won't fight it. I said that this dragon looks almost like Ultimacia. But it's its own GF? Like, okay. You know what? I think it's Bahamut. I strongly feel like it is because there's dragons. What the F? Oh! Oh, it's that type of sh... Old game BS? Oh, okay. I see. Damn, imbeciles. Why do you wish to fight for the sake of protecting something? None of your business. It's our nature. There is no real reason. Maybe we were born only to fight. I see interest. It's Bahamut. Oh my god, it's Bahamut! I am Bahamut! The great GF Bahamut. Oh, shit. Well, I'm in for it now. <laughs> ah, what? Okay, hold on. Wait! Wait, 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 wait. You have full life? Oh, my God. Huh? Okay, wait. Hold your horses. Cerberus, help us, please. Oh boy. Oh boy, he has full life though. Ah! Okay, he's taking my life! He's taking it, he's taking it. Okay, nice. Oh, no! Ungodly! So, do you have time to talk about our Lord and Savior, Muhammad? Cards 3? <laughs> Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna use it just in case. <laughs> Have you seen the light? <laughs> we did it! Yeah! Like, Leviathan can't be down here. I had Leviathan. What is it? New Neo Bahamut or something? Why do I have a bad feeling about this? Ah, uh, here we go. What do you mean, ah, uh, here we go? <laughs> what the hell is this place? Rut row, Jesus, what's going on? Behemoth? What the hell is this place? Why are we going down? Oh no. Oh no. It's the Iron Giants. There's a behemoth and Iron Giants? I don't like the sound of this. <laughs> I can escape last time. I can't escape now. No, it hasn't happened yet. Is it remove? No, it's it's remove. Yeah, it has to be remove. I feel like it's remove. But why is he here? Why is he in the depths of hell? Wait, okay, never mind. Oh, okay. Find? What does that do? Can't wait to see what happens. What's going on? Oh, this place is like a city. Excavation resuming. All except the leader must take shelter. Warning, please take shelter. What are you... What? Excavation resuming. All except the leader must take shelter. 
Uh, what's going on? The rocks are resonating? The air's pretty heavy. Languages? Uh, no. <laughs> you have Ultima of all places. Of course, it would be Ultima. It's the ultimate weapon. Reaction are so god tier. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> I thought we were gonna fight Ultima in the overworld. I didn't think it would be an actual, like, Geo for something! <laughs> what did I walk in on? I'm a Gurger. <laughs> this is nightmare fuel. You know what? I thought it was remote. I was like, who, who could possibly, be, like, be living here? <laughs> okay, hold on. Oh no, please, no! Have mercy upon my soul! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, are you serious? Ah! <laughs> Cause they say Balam Garden, but it reminds me of the Garden of Eden. Is seed like the forbidden fruit or something? We'll come back here a different time. No point in me wasting my time at this if I don't have a proper setup. Wow, 
this is a nice, like, trip. Ooh, vaporwave, yeah! <laughs> what the heck? It, it defies the laws of physics. Wait, that's a summon circle? Why? Oh yeah, Eden is Earth. I slept that in. Yeah, hello, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> That's funny. Bye. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to see it once. your ally. What in the world is this thing? Runaway train? Wait, is this a literal train? What the There's a literal train in this game. All right, I'm done. <laughs> I think I've been here, but I've never actually like been been here. If that makes any sense. Welcome. Reservations are taken at the counter. Don't hurt, Gaty. There's no one here to fix him. <laughs> I actually like this place. You want to see your comrade off? I'll make an exception. Go ahead. That's the wrong idea. You shouldn't have done that. Whatever. Dude, this is so sad. That's called it's called a turtle pod? It's weird. What are you doing here? This is a restricted area. To do what I should have done earlier. I'll never know unless I do it. What are you talking about? I know what I want and what I have to do. There's still a chance. I'm not gonna look back. I'm taking Renoa with me. What? You must be joking. It's too late. <laughs> Squaw, come on, go! Remember what I said? Oh, you know, you could make an exception. That's like the worst idea you could possibly, like, think of. Renoa! Renoa, hold on. I'll get you out in a sec. What am I supposed to do? Come on! Precious, I like this. And that, dear friends, is how the logo of Final Fantasy VIII came to be. <laughs> Love it! Squall, don't. I'm a sorceress. Imagine he misses and drops her. <laughs> oh god. Mm, names in Spanish are so different. Uh, Penamuna is called. Hello? Oh, that's what it's called? I don't care. Renoa, Squall, let's go. Just like the Final Fantasy X logo? Yes! Just like it. Who is that? That man. Is this a shoe me? Who are you? He looks really big. I've seen them before. <laughs> what? What's wrong, Manoa? 
I'm just a little embarrassed. I was so set on staying in Estar. But then when you guys rescued me, it made me so happy and... No need to be embarrassed. Yeah, happy is good. Thanks, everybody. Squall, you're awfully quiet. What's up? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. I have a lot on my mind. Squall. Squall, I'm sure you have, honey. As an expert squall observer? Oh, God. <laughs> He's thinking, what do we do now? Blah, blah, blah. If you think and worry too much, everything tends to turn bad. Squall, why don't we just picture a brighter future? Whatever. But seriously, what do we do from here? I'm not really sure, but... Don't we have to do something about the lunatic Pandora and Esther? After all, the Gabadians are controlling it. Which means Cypher is behind all this too, right? <sighs> is he really the 8th party member? He comes in super late. Like, sometimes I wonder about this. Cypher is Ultimacia's puppet. Yeah, and that Ultimacia... You can't let that sorceress from the future mess up our world. Let's go kick her ass! We're seeds, we're here to destroy the sorceresses, right? Zell. S sorry <laughs> I mean, it's one way to put it, I guess. So, Squall, where are we going? Um... Can we go to the orphanage you guys were talking about in Trabia? Orphanage? Oh yeah, that place. That place is in shambles. There's nothing to see there. I want to stay away from places where there are lots of people. I'm a sorceress. Of, if Ultimacia possesses me again, let's go head to Adea's house. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Isn't Adea there too? <gasps> oh, it's the field of flowers. Ah, uh, this is good. This is very good. What? See this bruise here? I had to put up with Renoa's kicks and punches for you. So seeing you two like this makes it all worth it. Irvine, you don't understand. Squall invaded your privacy by looking back into the past using a loan, so he saw everything, including the Renoa, Renoa pushing you back into that car, which you kind of deserve, Irvine. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hi, Ostafia. How's it going? I think you open the map and click on one of the cities, the Ragnarok flies there on its own. Really? That's actually very useful. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I'll go get Renoa. What should I talk about when Renoa gets here? Nothing about the sorceress, huh? I'm sure she's trying not to think about it. Who cares if she's a sorceress, right? Uh, maybe you shouldn't talk to Angelo. Angelo might relay the message to Renoa. You don't care either, do you? Renoa's just Renoa. Did Angelo legit tell Renoa, like, what's up? You know, I I'm just kidding if that's true. What'll become of me? Don't worry about it. There have been many good sorceresses. Adea was one. You could be like her. But a day is still... I'm doing good. How are you doing, Momo? I'm doing good. I had a very productive day. Like, really productive. <laughs> I went places today. But yeah, thank you for asking. I can't guarantee anything either if Ultimacia possesses me again. You saw me? She controlled me in outer space and made me break Adele's seal. What might happen next time? What will I end up doing? Will I end up finding everyone? Scary thought, isn't it? Uh, Renoa, please don't say that, because we might actually have to fight you. Renoa, even if you end up as the world's enemy, I'll... I'll be your knight. If I fall under Ultimacia's control again, Seed will come kill me, right? And the leader of Seed is you, Squall. Squall's sword will pierce my heart. 
I guess it's okay if it's you, Squall. Nobody else. Squall, if that ever happens, that's enough. I'll never do anything like that. The sorceress I'm after is not you, Renoa. My enemy is the sorceress from the future, Ultimacia. Ultimacia lives in the future and possesses me. She uses my body as her extension in this world. How, how will you save me? Sometimes I wonder, like, just how? I'll come up with something. There's gotta be a way. Don't worry, trust me. I trust you. Well, until you find a way, maybe. Maybe I should stay in Estar at that memorial. Wouldn't that be better? That's a bad idea. <laughs> Isn't that where the lunar cry is? No, that'd be pointless. I'll just end up going after you again. Or no, just stay close to me. Oh. Those words. What? That's what started everything. Hmm? What are you talking about? You don't remember? Something I said? Oh, it's from the beginning of the game when he first met her. Oh, just forget it. No, it's because of the girlfriend. <laughs> That's why I forgot! <laughs> That's just an excuse! Feeling better? Yeah. Can I tell you a story? I had a dream. It was a scary dream. We make a promise. We promise to see shooting stars together. I get dressed up and put on your ring. But the thing is, I can't remember where I'm supposed to meet you. I start to panic. I really want to see you, Luke Squall, but I don't know where to go. I start running through the mountains, the desert, the plains, through Timber, Balam, and Galbadia. When I realize I can't run any longer, I, I just want to see you so badly. So I want to scream, Squall. Where are you? Then I woke up. I was crying. I'm sorry, you don't have to say anything. Oh, Renoi, that just means you love him. I just felt like I had to tell you. It was just a dream. Squall, that is not just gonna be just a dream. That's actually gonna be the reality that you live in. It doesn't mean anything. Don't worry about it. I guess you're right. How about this? I'll be here. Why? The reason why you couldn't find me was because we haven't promised yet. Promised? I'll be waiting for you. If you come here, you'll find me. I promise. I'll be here too. It's a promise. Thanks, Squall. Next time we will meet for sure. Whoa. Sorry to interrupt, but it's an emergency. Squall g got too many girlfriends to add Renola. <laughs> I feel like the perfect girlfriend with Renola is like the carbuncle. But she wears the ring. That's a symbolism of marriage. We got radio contact from Estar's presidential palace. They have a plan to defeat Ultimacia. They want to hire C to execute it. Might be a trap to get Renoa back to Esther. Oh, and uh, the guy we spoke to, his name, his name's Kiros. <gasps> Could he be that Kiros? Kiros is in Esther's presidential palace. He wants to hire us. All right, let's go. I feel like if we see Kiro, something will trigger and squall. And I know what this flower field is. I know what this is. There is something I must tell you. It is about me. Yes, I believe it was 13 years ago. This is when my story begins. I first became a sorceress when I was a child and once again 13 years ago. That day right here, I encountered a sorceress on the verge of death. I received her powers of my own will. That sorceress was an entity of fear for my children. I could not let her get to them, but this turned out to be the beginning of my painful story. At this very minute, my bitter story has ended. I now understand there is an end, no matter how painful it might may be. Therefore, Squall, you must fight to the end, even though you may bring tragedy to others. Ward. Is... Wait. Wait, is that Laguna? Wait, that's Ward and Kiros and that's Laguna? 
heroes. And that's probably, that's Laguna. What? What is up with this country? Oh, sure. Hey there. Been wanting to meet you guys. You guys are the ones who are inside my head, right? Alone told me. It was like there were some kind of waves running through my head. That they gave us so much power during battle. We thought they were some kind of fairies flying over us. So we do get to meet them. And they've been alive this whole time. So I'm Laguna, President Laguna Lore of S-Star. You're the president? <laughs> what? Pleased to meet you. If we were in a state of emergency, I'd talk to you some more, but well, whatever, let's talk. What do you want to know? You never get going if President Laguna keeps talking. <laughs> So why don't you guys throw out some questions and I'll try to answer them. Laguna just straight up looks at Kiros like, what? <laughs> Man, you look way too serious. <laughs> Laguna has a fancy office. <laughs> you think a fool can't be president? There's Laguna. <laughs> You tell Squall that you look way too serious. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Let me out of this room. <laughs> what are you doing here? You know what I've been doing... You know what I've been doing all my life, right? You were a silly gal body and soldier. I didn't like your attitude at all. My God, <gasps> Adele will be angry. My research will be kaput. Odin only thought about his research. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute! But while researching under Adele's orders, he was still making many inventions. It was a device to seal magic, sealing facility. Chase him! <laughs> Go, baby L. Maybe Adele can be defeated. I owed a big favor to the Adele Resistance who helped me rescue alone. I spoke with my comrades. Two issues came up. <laughs> Kick his butt! <laughs> Go, child! <laughs> stop him! First, stopping the Crystal Pillar from calling monsters from the moon and destroying everything like what happened in Sentra. Second, freeing Estar from Adele's hands. So that's what happened to Sentra. Oh yeah, the Sentra region looks like a giant, like, volcanic place. Very desolate. It's like something, like, gave the world a good smack. <laughs> we planned and planned based on my brilliant ideas, of course. We're back. Back in the Luna Lunatic Pandora's research facility. There is only one goal. Following Odin's instructions, we operated the panel and moved the crystal pillar. That was the crystal pillar in the background. But it's not there when we're in the present. We set the course and the stop point in the ocean and goodbye. Oh! That was easy, but we were found out. So we gathered for our final battle to lure Adele. Oh, Adele, Adele appeared as we expected. What is going on? We hunted out the culprit who moved the crystal pillar. Where? Inside there, Alone's been taken hostage. I knew she would go in right away if I mentioned alone. 
He thought I would fall for that trick. Adele realized that alone was a hologram, but it was too late. Yeah, of course. My plans are always... Perfect! Here is one, go! A uh, piece of cake. Adele was careless. She may be a sorceress, but after all, she was human. That's what she looked like? We succeeded, but we couldn't keep such a dangerous sorceress around as a trophy. So you sent her to the moon. We had to do something. So we decided to send her far, far away. Into the another galaxy? Alright, I see. <laughs> Someplace far, very far into outer space. Yeah, but look where that ended up being. Tori Story, thank you so much for the follow. I hope you enjoy your stay here. Uh, this is one of my favorite games. Also, I just want to say your hair is so pretty. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. But yeah, I hope you enjoy your stay here. And how are you? That's where Ragnarok comes in. Dude, that's a nice ride. Wait, all three of them went to space? Oh... And about that wraps up that part up, okay? But the real work began after that. A fierce debate ensued about who should govern this country after Adele was gone. I wasn't paying close attention while they made up... They made me up to be this hero of the revolution. And I ended up being president. Okay! <laughs> I'm good, how are you? I'm good! I had a very productive day today. It was super productive. <laughs> but I had a good time today, thank you. Oh, Dean made a lot of noise about wanting to do research on alone. It was a mistake to send alone alone back to Rain. Rain died and L was sent to the orphanage. That that's sad. It looks like Voltron forming. <laughs> Two dragons became a rocket for a ship, okay? If I had only gone to Wind Hill with L, I would have been able to see Rain one last time. Can't we go to Wind Hill right now? Rain was dead, alone missing. My job kept me busy. I was left here thinking about this and that, and before I knew it, all this time had passed. Well, that's about it. So you're not even- you're not the reincarnation of Squall, either. I thought you were some kind of reincarnation, because I was like... Why are we, like, being sent back to the past, but in different minds? Alright. I'm still trying to grasp this whole time compression thing. Bro. <laughs> I obviously know what I'm doing. Uh I'm <laughs> just kidding. I was like, I don't wanna put the Adea card. I don't want her to put that card in the bottom at all. I want her to put it at the very top. Wherever that top may be, I just want her to put it at the top. 